Agave nectar is produced from the same plant used to make tequila. Nice. Agave is now commonly used as an alternative to sugar, honey, and maple syrup in cooking and baking. And it's especially popular as a honey alternative for vegans who won't eat anything that comes from an animal source. The United States market for alternative sweeteners is expected to grow to about 1.4 billion by the year 2015. And natural sweeteners like agave are leading the pack. So let's find out what the heck is really in agave nectar. Agave nectar, or syrup, is a natural sweetener produced from, you guessed it, the agave plant. The same plant used to make tequila. Nice. It tastes similar to honey with a hint of molasses, and it's manufactured by extracting the juice from the plant's core, which is then filtered, heated, or treated with enzymes, and concentrated until it becomes a syrupy liquid. Agave nectar comes in light, dark, amber, and raw varieties. Raw and light agave nectars have the mildest flavor. Dark is richest in flavor, and the amber lies somewhere right in between. The manufacturers of agave nectar claim that it's a healthier alternative to sugar and honey because it has a low glycemic index. It's advertised as ideal for people who are watching their weight or watching their blood sugar levels. But before you add that agave nectar to your grocery list, there's some facts to consider. Agave nectar can contain significantly more fructose than table sugar. This is good and bad. Here's the good part. Because it's low glycemic index, agave doesn't cause your blood sugars to spike as rapidly after eating it, which means it can temper the blood sugar rush associated with eating sweets. And even though agave and white sugar contain approximately the same number of calories, agave is about one and a half times sweeter than white sugar. So that means that you can use less to sweeten your coffee, your morning oatmeal, or the homemade chocolate chip cookies you have in the oven. Now for the cons. The high fructose content in agave can have some undesirable health effects. Studies have shown that large amounts of fructose can increase blood triglyceride levels. So that's bad because high triglycerides are a known risk factor for heart disease. In addition, some people have trouble absorbing fructose, so eating it can cause bloating, gas, abdominal discomfort, especially for people who have irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. So when it comes to sugar alternatives, is agave kitchen worthy? If you're only using a few teaspoons of sweetener a day, the differences are negligible, and you can really choose whichever one you prefer. Now that you know what the heck you're eating, enjoy the sweet life, but not too much. If you want to see more What the Heck Are You Eating next week, subscribe now. And don't forget to watch Fitness Guinea Pig, where we test today's hottest workout and diet trends.